And uh, remember to always, what's a good piece of general advice? To always um, honor and respect. You guys give me something else. Um, to uh, always. What? Just tie your tie. Is that Coming right? from you, that's great. Yeah. feeling it is a choice it is an action and God is the source of our love and he loved us so much that he sacrificed his son for us God is the source and Jesus is the example so plug into that source and follow his example in your life the second thing love one another that's easy that's easy <laughs> with God as your source and Jesus as your example the love that you celebrate today will grow it will spontaneously respond to one another and care for one another. This love can't help but make breakfast for the other one in the morning. <laughs> or maybe go out of your way to clean up after the other one unexpectedly, amen. <laughs> the third thing is no one has seen God's face. We haven't seen God face to face, but I pray that when people come to your home, when they go to dinner with you, when they watch you build your family, that they will come face to face with the life-changing love of Christ. This next one has to do with acknowledgement. Acknowledgement in today's world is basically representation. That's the model and, and the modern take on it. So I encourage you to represent Jesus in your relationship, your home, and your everyday life. And always allow your life to point to Jesus. The final thing is rely on his love. Keep him centered in everything that you do. The love that you are celebrating um, so well, so those here standing here with you and those who are here to witness this important step is your most powerful ally. It's important that you understand this truth. Love is the most powerful force in the universe, and it's on your side, and so are everyone else here. So this time we're gonna exchange our vows. Okay. So Chris, please repeat after me. I, Chris. I, Chris. Take you, Lindsay, to be my wife. Take you, Lindsay, to be my wife. My best friend. My best friend. My partner. My partner. And my love. And my love. I will work to create a relationship I will work to create a relationship of honesty, respect, and trust. Of honesty, respect, and trust. I vow to honor and respect you. I vow to honor and respect you. For all that you are and all that you will become. For all that you are and all that you will become. I promise to challenge you and accept challenges from you. I promise to challenge you and accept challenges from you. 
And above all. And above all. I will give you my love freely and unconditionally. I will give you my love freely and unconditionally. Before God and everyone. Before God and everyone. I vow all this to you from the bottom of my heart for all the days of my life. I vow all of this to you from the bottom of my heart for all the days of my life. Lindsay, please repeat after me. I, Lindsay, take you, Chris. I, Lindsay, take you, Chris. To be my husband. To be my husband. My best friend, my partner, and my love. My best friend, my partner, and my love. I will work to create a relationship. I will work to create a relationship. Of honesty, respect, and trust. Of honesty, respect, and trust. I vow to honor and respect you. I vow to honor and respect you. For all that you are and all that you will become. For all that you are and all that you will become. I promise to challenge you and accept challenges from you. <laughs> I promise to challenge you. I promise to challenge you. And accept challenges from you. And accept challenges from you. And above all, I will give you my love freely and unconditionally. And above all, I will give you my love. I give you my love freely, freely and, unconditionally. and unconditionally. Before God and everyone. Before God and everyone. I vow all this to you. I vow all this to you. From the bottom of my heart and all the days of my life. From the bottom of my heart for all the days of my life. So by the authority committed to me as a servant of Jesus Christ, I now declare that Chris and Lindsay are husband and wife, according to the ordinance of God and the laws of Nebraska, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you now pitch it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for how much you love Lindsay. Chris, make sure you hold her when she's upset. Always kiss her goodnight and continue to surprise her. Lindsay, never stop saying you're proud of him. Make sure he's got access to some coffee in the morning. <laughs> and give him a good goosing every once in a while. <laughs> I just couldn't be happier. I never would have thought how perfect you guys would be and the happiness that you bought my brother has just lightened my life I've never seen him so happy and so in love before and now I'm just so excited to see him be a dad and just be the amazing father figure that I knew that he could be after seeing him play with my kids for so long and I just can't wait to live life with you guys and now I'm just so excited to have another sister to live life with uh, Lindsay, you've been wanting this day to happen for most of your life. I'm glad you found the right person to share it with you. Chris, welcome to the family. And I'm quite certain that Dad would totally appreciate everything you do for your favorite girl. To the happy couple. <laughs> 